Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. This honestly is one of the rarest cars that we have ever, ever had here. It's, uh, it's one of only 2454 built, and it is loaded to the gills. It's matching numbers. It's black. The top goes down. It's got a big motor on it. If that was all of it, that would be enough, right? But it's way more than that. This car here has been loved by somebody for a really long time. You hit the key, it starts right up. When you, when you drive out onto the street, it doesn't rattle and creak. It's just not an old car. This is a wonderful, wonderful driving car. And that's one of the reasons why Buicks have become more and more popular because they haven't been killed like Chevelle's or killed like an El Camino had been driven in the past. These were gentlemen's muscle cars, a lot like maybe say, like the Plymouth GTX. The Plymouth GTX was more, a lot more expensive than the other cars. And that was considered the gentleman's muscle car. And that's what you get right here, 442 convertibles. Same kind of thing. They were a lot more expensive than the regular cars. So the people that, that could afford those cars typically were not, uh, were not racing. They just wanted a really cool car that they could enjoy. And that's exactly what you would be getting here right now. The red line tires on the Buick specific wheels, those are not like regular Magnum 500s. They're a little different uh, because of the, the Buick style in there. And again, we're gonna walk around and look at so many of the options that comes on it. So come on up here first. Let's start with a little paint, all right? Look how nice and clear all of those letters are in there. Everything is nice and clear. You can see every word just like you're supposed to. All right, nice chrome and stainless all the way around here. The grill is correct. You got the big GS call out right there. Look at the scoop on the hood. All right, this is 69. So you're starting to get some of the great stuff and styling that comes into these cars. And these cars ride and drive like today's modern car, believe it or not. They, you want to take a couple out in this car and go to dinner. You want to take the kids out and go someplace. And if this is the car you do it, you drive long distance. This is it. All right, let's keep rolling around the car so we can look at some of the other stuff. All right, so like these fender vents here and the GS400 call out and the red stripe at the bottom, that's a very performance, sporty looking feature of the car. Convertible top, we have a boot for it. Uh, it got used on another car, so we unfortunately will have it on there when it's delivered to you. But uh, I wanted to get the video out there because it needed to get done, and that's why, uh, unfortunately, we didn't have the boot. So. Uh, but at least you're getting one, all right? All right, and then again, this right here, I love that. GS400 call out here. I wanted to take a second and look under here so you guys could see. It's nicely detailed. Gas tank's a different color. The rear end's a different color. Uh, it's got Flowmaster exhaust, so it sounds just right. Those are redline radials, by the way. They're not uh, bias ply tires, which would have come standard on this car back then, even though that's not show correct. They're still show tires, and they make the car drive so much better. But if you want bias ply tires and you're gonna show this car, let us know, maybe we can swap them out for you and, uh, and get that figured out. Since we're back here, I thought maybe we'd take a second real quick and, uh, and have a peek in the trunk so you can see that because the Buick does a nice job as well in the trunk here. The trunk mat, spare tire, jack. It's all painted correctly like it's supposed to with the splatter coated paint. And it's just like you would want uh, your trunk to be detailed. You say, well, Tone, so what if it has a trunk uh, with a spare tire and a jack? Well, 99% of the cars we have do not come with a spare tire and jack, and to find things like that in this car said that it's a much nicer car than others. Showing that the trunk light works is another nice little feature of the cars with trunk lights. So what? They all came with trunk lights. Well, they may have come with trunk lights, but a year or two after they were new, a lot of times they didn't work back then. The fact that the car 50 years later is working is a nice sign of the restoration. All right. So uh, because this car just came in, we're still finishing up the detail stuff that we like to do to them. I just want to show you some of that. This does have the correct engine in it. It does have the correct call-out decals, uh, the correct air cleaner with the call-out on it as well. New washer bottle, dual horns. Tell them it's got dual horns. It's supposed to have dual horns, right? Yeah, but no car has dual horns all the time. Most of these cars come in with no horns. They don't work. We make the horns work, okay? Uh, this right here, overflow for the coolant, and we ran out of battery toppers, that'll be on there as well. And then uh, Colin will take new pics of it, and you'll get a nice little shot of how nice this is. So if you wanted to go to a car show, this is a great looking engine compartment. Like come over here and see, like the carburetor preheater hose is still here. Power steering is in place, it's a little different style than say maybe a Chevelle would be. Power brakes, right? Luxury features of this car. This car has power windows. It has power seat. I mean, it goes on and on. Power convertible top. It's really, really a wonderful car. All right, so listen, uh, before I jump in the front seat here where you are going to spend a lot of your time, 
I want to show you what it's like to take another couple out or the kids or something like that. I'm 6'1", I still got plenty of room in here and I have the seat slid all the way back. So you could slide the seat up a little bit and uh, everybody, especially kids obviously would fit back here. Another couple would fit back here beautifully. Going to dinner in a car like this, like this, with the top down, uh, it's just a whole nother experience. It just changes the entire evening another 50% make it even better. All right, so come on in here. And uh, the reason I want you to spend a minute in here is because I want you to hear that. That's a, that's a 50 year old convertible door that still sounds really, really nice. I love the Buick interior. You can tell from the door panels. Look at the design of the door panels. The lines across there are very Art Deco looking. The GS call outs on the door panels. This is a luxury car compared to say like a Chevelle uh, as well. So this was, as you moved up the rank, you can see uh, as you moved up from, you know, Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Buick, kept moving up, it got nicer and nicer as you went along. And so this is like the top of the line muscle car, because Cadillac didn't really make a muscle car, so if you want GM's finest, this was it. Great dash layout, right? Full gauges in here, clock, right? Uh, and the controls are just very nice. And the fact that, you, you know, this turns red, way this works, and that turns that. Original style radio in there. It's a digital radio designed to look uh, like the factory one. And these three gauges here with the factory console, which is optional as well. So you got power windows, you got optional bucket seats and console, right? You have the power top we talked about, power steering and power brakes. When we were under the hood, we looked at that. Uh, power windows, I mean, just nice stuff. And the stereo system itself is really, really great. All right, so we close up this, uh, this video here and think about this for a second. This black Buick, big block 400 convertible. Grand Sport, the GS. Throw in the power windows and power steering and power brakes and power convertible top, the red line tires, the wheels, the matching numbers, the restored, man, this is a great car. I'm telling you, if you're looking for something investment grade that drives really nice as well, because there's no better hobby in the world than this. The fact that these cars have been continuing to go up in value, where you say, well, how, Tone, how could you possibly know that this car is going to go up in value? You're right. I can't possibly know that, but I do know this. For what they're selling for today, they didn't cost that when they were new, so they've been clearly going up for a long time. And I think that if you could drive something like this, have some fun, and it increases in value, it is an awesome, awesome hobby to be part of. Anyway, find a way to get this immaculate, really beautiful Buick GS convertible in your life. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get it in your garage. You know, once in a while a car comes along and you just can sense that it's just a really, really nice car. One thing that I love so much about Buicks is the fact that typically people did not abuse these cars like they did say maybe a Chevelle or a big block Mustang or something like that. That's exactly how this car starts, runs and drives. It just fires right up, man. It's like one finger steering. This is the kind of car you go out to dinner, go have some fun, sit back. It's has a power seat, power windows, it's loaded with people. You can see the torque rock the whole car, man. Just a little bit of gas.